I'm Andrew Carroll, director of the Center for American War Letters at Chapman University, and we're here at the Smithsonian's National Postal Museum for the 100th anniversary of when America entered World War I, and we're opening an exhibit with never-before-seen letters by General John Pershing, who led all the troops during the war. So here, for example, and no one's ever seen this before. This was given to us by someone who worked for the Pershing family, and this is a letter about how before the war, Pershing lost his wife and his three daughters in a house fire. And only his little boy Warren was uh, pulled out alive. And it really humanizes the general, and it's something that I think letters do so well. So General Pershing was known as this very rigid individual, but he actually had a great love for his troops. And at one point near the end of the war, he wrote his fellow soldiers a letter thanking them for their service, uh, for all that they had done to really save the world for democracy. And it's a very moving letter that every single member of the AEF received. What's also great about this exhibit is that along with sort of the famous generals, we also have uh, the people who aren't as well known but contributed so much, whether they were war nurses or ambulance drivers. And it's interesting because in the letters that we found from World War I, uh, tucked inside of one of them was a mention to an ambulance driver named Ernest Hemingway. And this is a gentleman writing home to his uh, wife, Betty, about meeting a young Ernest Hemingway. And this is before Hemingway was famous, but he clearly made an impression on this soldier. So this exhibit is actually part of a much larger initiative we run at the Center for American War Letters at Chapman to save America's war letters. And we go from the American Revolution all the way up to Iraq and Afghanistan, whether they're handwritten letters or emails that are typed out. We believe that these letters really help us better understand what these troops and their families have gone through and that nobody can tell their story better than they can. So in finding all these great previously unpublished letters by Pershing, I decided to do a book that focused both on his service during the war and all the Americans who fought as well. And it became my fellow soldiers, uh, General John Pershing and the Americans who helped win the Great War. It's so important that we remember and honor the troops and their families who have served this nation because it gives us a better sense of what we owe them, their sacrifice, and how they really change history, that we would not have the freedoms today if it weren't for these brave individuals.